Well, as we turn to the warmer weather Dylan mentioned coming across the mountain state, we turn to another season that gives us sneezes and coughs as well as t-shirts and shorts. Here's Chief Meteorologist Scott Sinkoff with more. Grab the tissues and the nasal spray as allergy season is a go. Spring started on Saturday. April showers bring May flowers. Well, they also definitely bring allergies for people. Typically starting in late February or March, the sniffles start impacting us when trees are starting to bloom, grass is starting to come out, and pollens and mold start making their appearance. In West Virginia, oak, poplar and maple trees are the biggest culprits as the weather gets warmer and wetter. As our rainy season starts, obviously that allows our plants to grow, um, but there's other things they contribute as far as the weather goes. Um, tree, grass, ragweed pollens, they thrive during cool nights and warmer days. Um, molds like the flip side, they like um, high heat, high humidity. Gusty winds and warm weather can surge the pollen levels as that energy will help the pollen move from one area to another. And rain it will actually wash the pollen away, but then after um, the rain sort of dries off, the pollen counts soar after that. Pollen counts aren't the only thing that are soaring. Allergy symptoms such as sore throat, headaches, and a dry cough are common for this time of year, but it also can be confused with symptoms of COVID-19. Those are the symptoms where you're sitting in the middle and you're trying to figure out which one you know you may have. The things that go along more with COVID, if you have a if you have a fever, allergies don't cause fever, or if you have myalgias, maybe um, muscle aches, weakness, um, just feeling really fatigued. And West says that if you have any of those overlapping symptoms between spring allergies and the coronavirus, to make sure to get tested for COVID-19. Reporting in Clarksburg for 12 News, I'm Scott Sinkoff.